Hi and welcome back. I uh, thought this would be a good opportunity just to show off the most recent arrival in my house. Sorry for folks that this is probably looking all back to front to you. This isn't a left-handed guitar, it's right-handed. Uh, and it is a Patrick James Eggle Oz. Now Patrick has always had some interesting naming conventions for his guitar from way back when they were always named after significant cities from the New York to the Berlin to the Vienna, Boston and numerous others too. Um, more recently he's chosen uh, 96, small part of America, uh, Macon, not too far from 96 I gather but my American geography is pretty poor. Uh, but this particular model which you know you'll recognize instantly as a variation on a Telecaster is actually called the Oz which is a slight twist because it's not an American place. It's actually a small town, uh, kind of close to the Welsh border, Oswestry. Uh, so here is the Patrick James article Oz, which is his version of the Telecaster. There are numerous different models of the Oz available. Some of them are more traditional. This particular one is a drop top double humbucker. So probably the least traditional Telecaster that he does. I'll give you a really quick run through the spec and then you can hear how it sounds. So as you can see it is a drop top so you've got a gorgeous uh, two-piece uh, well sorry book matched maple top. It is a drop top because as you see the uh, the top of the guitar is actually sort of bent around the contouring that is cut out of the back of the guitar. So you know on a on a carved top guitar you'll have a sort of slab of mahogany with a piece of maple over the top and then the carving is cut into the maple like a Les Paul uh, whereas on a drop top the carving actually takes place uh, on the back of the guitar and then the layer of maple is sort of dropped over the carve so that it follows the contours and you can see it's the same thickness piece of maple all the way around. So it's a maple drop top. On the back you have got uh, a swamp ash body which is uh, done in uh, Patrick's sort of micro thin finish. Uh, neck is a beautiful maple figured neck with a kind of matching figured maple fingerboard. Uh, pickups are Mojo hand wound in the UK. You've got a hip shot bridge and some nice go to locking tuners on there. Um, so it's a lovely guitar. Um, I was a bit unsure about the neck profile. I've played uh, Pat's um, C profile necks, his contemporary necks, which have a compound radius fingerboard, jumbo frets and a C profile. This one was described as a vintage neck, so has a 12 inch radius, uh, medium frets and a soft V uh, to the neck profile. I was not sure about the soft V until I actually played it. And boy, it's lovely. Um, so all worries aside, I'm not particularly a vintage spec kind of person, but the soft fee on this is so playable. And the, the, the natural oiled finish makes it so slick to play. It's gorgeous. So let's see how it sounds. So I'm not going to go through every possible sound. At least, uh, needless to say, this is a really versatile guitar. Uh, you've got a push-pull on the tone control, giving you a coil split option. Um, it covers a range of sounds. I'll just give you a quick sort of flavour of what the clean and dirty sounds um, are like on it. Currently I've got it on a, a split coil setting, uh, so you get something a little bit kind of stratty. <laughs> Then something a little bit kind of mid game. Uh, 
and then something a little bit high again. <laughs> There you have it, uh, an absolutely gorgeous Patrick James Eggle, Oz, T, Humbuck Humbuck, Drop Top, don't know quite exactly what the name configuration is, uh, but a gorgeous guitar from Oswestry here in the UK.